Russia's defense ministry announced that it had initiated tactical exercises involving fighter jets over the Baltic Sea. The primary objective of these maneuvers is to assess the readiness of the pilots to carry out combat operations and execute specialized tasks. According to the ministry's statement on the Telegram messaging app, the Su-27 fighter jets belonging to the Baltic Fleet's crew engaged in firing airborne weapons at cruise missiles and simulated enemy aircraft. The exercise aims to evaluate the flight crew's preparedness to effectively undertake combat missions and handle specific assignments. In addition to enhancing their skills, the fighter jet crews are currently engaged in round-the-clock combat duty, safeguarding the airspace of Russia's Kaliningrad exclave. These exercises come amid the growing number of intercepts between NATO and Russian military planes over the Baltic and Black Seas. The potential consequences of these exercises can vary depending on the context and reactions of other countries involved. These exercises could contribute to escalating tensions between Russia and neighboring countries, particularly if they are seen as provocative or aggressive. Increased military activity near sensitive areas such as the Baltic Sea could raise concerns and lead to a more confrontational atmosphere. If the exercises are perceived as a threat or a violation of international norms, NATO countries may respond by increasing their own military presence or conducting counter-exercises. This could further exacerbate the already strained relations between Russia and NATO. The exercises taking place near the Baltic Sea could create a sense of instability in the region. Neighboring countries may perceive the exercises as a potential security risk and respond by bolstering their own defense capabilities, leading to a cycle of military buildup and heightened tensions. During military exercises, there is always a risk of accidents or miscalculations that could escalate the situation. The ultimate impact will depend on how these exercises are perceived and interpreted by different stakeholders.